Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about some techniques to solve wrong total in Power BI matrix visuals. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. In our first example, I have this visual showing rating and current salary. I am going to increase the salary by 20% if rating is more than or equal to 3. Let's create this measure. For this wrong total example, I will keep all other items as blank. And even if we will keep them as it is, then also total will be wrong. Let's use this measure in our table visual. As that you can see, here we got 20% increased salary for ratings more than 3, but total here is not 3,600 because it has increased 20% to the old total which is 5,000. So how to solve this? Here I am going to use some x function which will iterate through an already filtered table and then it will sum only increase salary. In our second example, I will show you another technique to solve wrong total in a matrix visual. Now my total is showing only for those three rows. This is my second example. Here I have year and month wise total amount. I will create a same period last year measure and we will see how the total could be misleading. Let's create the previous year total amount and see how it looks. I can use time intelligence function same period last year inside the calculate function to get this. This measure is correct, and it's showing correct previous period total amount. But since I have only 5 months in 2022, I wanted to see only 5 months values from 2021 as well for a better comparison. And that will create the problem. Let's keep the condition to show numbers only if there is value in 2022 and see how total is wrong and how to solve this. As that you can see, I get the values for only 5 months, but total is still for entire 2021. This is not wrong because at the total level there is only your filter, and it's showing us for the context, but many times, we would like to see some of these 5 months only. So, I am creating a new measure, and this time instead of using a filter function inside some x, I will use summarize function, which will give me a summarized table of year and months combined and then some x will only do some for those months. Now total is only for these 5 months for 2021 as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos in Power BI.